Hello, and welcome back. I'm absolutely not out of breath. This is perfect. We're in Chamonix. Hello. All right, we're already all geared up to go on a beautiful hike today in uh, Valorcine. So we're still in Valorcine, close to Chamonix, so in the French Alps. And today I'm going to be taking you on this really awesome two-hour hike up to the Sex Blanc. Apparently we're going to have an amazing view up there. So it's going to be awesome. The sun is out, it's shining. And today's video focuses on activities that you can do out in the mountains that are not necessarily alpine skiing. So alpine skiing is basically when you go on the lift and go down on skis or on a snowboard, that's sort of an alpine skiing sort of thing. But I wanna focus on other sports that you can do while out in the mountains. For example, snowshoeing, cross country skiing, or Nordic skiing. So these sports are a lot less popular than alpine skiing, although they are very fun in themselves. And in a way, I think they're actually a great way to connect to nature more so than alpine skiing. So yeah, let's get into this video and learn more about these awesome sports. The view. The freaking views! So at the moment the ski lifts in France are closed due to COVID and that's part of the reason why we're experimenting with these new sports. But I'm actually really happy because I don't think I would have tried this if it wasn't for the lifts being closed. Do you think would have, you would have tried snowshoeing? Probably not. I probably would have like uh, tried off piste or something more mm -hmm. adventurous. But this is just as fun. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it enables you to see and enjoy the landscape a lot more and appreciate the topography of the land. So I'm very much enjoying snowshoeing and it's really, really easy. I mean, it's pretty much like hiking, except that you have these big things attached to your feet. They're pretty heavy, which makes walking kind of hard, but they're very easy to use. You just strap them onto any shoe. You don't need a special shoe at all and you just need to rent them. And we've had them for a week right now and it's cost us about 70 euros for two pairs. So 70 euros for 10 days almost, yeah, of having the snowshoes just on hand. So really good value, I'm a lot cheaper than skiing. <laughs> and obviously all these tracks are entirely free of access. I will say though, this track is pretty intense. Well, it's straight up, that's the thing. You go straight up the mountain for 45 minutes. <laughs> that's the hard part. But we're gonna be awarded a magnificent view, I believe. Let's see. itinerary number 10 so I'll link it in the description below so you can check it out for yourself if you ever come to Chamonix number 10 we made it look at this and that is why you snowshoe because you get to these places that's right look at these mesmerizing view and that's what I love about snowshoeing. I love hiking in the summer and I'm finding that snowshoeing is exactly the same alternative. You take your time, you're taking the scenery and you get to places that you couldn't get to if you were just skiing down a slope that was already sort of designed and that doesn't have a lookout. And this lookout is absolutely breathtaking. And this cookie is absolutely breathtaking as well. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, look at this. <laughs> 